Hi everyone, it's David. In this video, we will learn how to find the radius of a circle circumscribed around a triangle. When you are asked to find the radius of such a circle, do not rush to draw the circle or radius of the circumscribed circle. Such problems are usually solved using the sign theorem. To do this, let's first get acquainted with the sign theorem. If you have the triangle ABC, whose sides are A, B and C. Then the sine theorem states that A divided by sine of angle A equals B divided by sine of angle B equals C divided by sine of angle C equals 2 times R where R is the radius of the circle circumscribed around the triangle ABC. This means that to find the radius, it is sufficient to have the length of any side of the triangle and the sine of the opposite angle of that side. Let us now consider a problem and apply the sine theorem to find the radius of the circle circumscribed around the triangle. In triangle ABC, angle B is equal to 72 degrees. Angle C is 63 degrees. BC is equal to 2 times square root of 2. Find the radius of the circle circumscribed around the triangle ABC. Since we already have the length of BC, all we have to do is to find out the sine of angle A. Given that the sum of the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees, we get angle A plus 72 plus 63 is equal to 180 we get angle A is equal to 45 degrees. We can calculate the sine of an angle of 45 degrees. Sine of A is equal to square root of 2 divided by 2. Then we get that BC divided by sine of angle A is equal to 2 times R. Let's plug in the values we already know. 2 times r is equal to bc divided by sine of angle a equals 2 square root of 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2 equals here we need to make calculations and finally we get 4. So 2 times r is equal to 4 which means that r is equal to 2. So the problem is solved. The radius of the circle is equal to 2. To sum up, we conclude that in order to find the radius of a circle circumscribed around the triangle, we just need to use the sine theorem. Given the length of any side and the sine of the angle opposite to that side is enough to calculate the radius of that circle. Thank you for watching. Bye.